Hi, I'm Tim Orkland. This is a reading for LS. Alice wants to know, I left my husband and traveled for work, but I stayed just two months and I came back to my country. Okay, so LS is the person we read for before, and we said that she was going to meet a new man, and her emotional needs would be met a little bit better soon. I hope her husband doesn't watch this video, by the way. Hey, if the husband watches this video, I'm just reading the cards, bro. No offense. Don't kill the messenger. All right. And I also said that she would be moving for a temporary job, and she indeed moved and got a temporary job, which is what I'm reading now, right? I stayed for two months in a temporary job, and I traveled for work. Okay, so now I'm back in my home country, and my husband wants to come visit me. And keep in mind that she lives with her mother-in-law, and she's sort of miserable there, and she wants to know if she's going to have any kids. So am I going to have any kids with my husband in six years? Will I be able to live apart from his mother so she wants to get out of the mother-in-law's house and again i assume the last reading but they're there because of money nobody has enough money and lives at the mother-in-law's house so it seems like she's traveling for work trying to make a living and try to get some money and income in so let's first answer the question we have kids so now we have the seven opposition yet courage right we have death upside down, meaning, no, there's not going to be any change. And we have the wheel of fortune. Wheels go round and round and round. And that's one of the things that we see with the wheel of fortune quite a bit, is the wheel will continue to circle round and round. In other words, the daily repetition of life will continue to go on. There's nothing here, for example, that tells me that a drastic change is coming, or I don't see any children cards, for example. You know, there's many pregnancy cards or many char cards that could be construed for children and things like this. I just don't see that within the context of these three cards. What I see is the wheel goes round and round, meaning if you keep doing the same actions and you keep doing the same things, you're going to get the same results. So, whatever's currently blocking children from coming, whether it be a medical issue or a husband doesn't want it or, or whatever's happening, is not really going to change, based upon the cards, is not really going to change um, because the wheel goes round and round. So the Wheel of Fortune, it's one of the things that I guess makes me a little different than some other tarot readers is, is this card. In this card, the wheel, I... I definitely see that as being the wheel goes round and round and we have the same old repetition repetition over and over and that's the main theme of the card to me and that's pretty much what I see here is yeah if you keep doing the same things you're doing you're gonna get the same result that you've always been getting which apparently is not satisfactory because you have two negative factors the, the mother-in-law's house and the no kids so um, we also kind of wonder, do you really want to bring, if you're miserable now and you're constantly moving around, is this a situation that you want to bring a child into, right? Uh, just just an, an obvious thing because now you're sort of, it seems like you're making some of the money. It seems like you're, it's required for you to go make money and go travel and go move around to make money. So if that's the case, do you want to bring a child in and now it complicates that and now you can't go and make money and now you're still stuck at the mother-in-law's but now for even longer than you were and she's already in a bad mood and she's already negative and hateful or whatever you said if you bring a child in that's constantly screaming in the house and something she's gonna have to help is that gonna be something she's excited about or is that gonna be something she's not so excited about so you got to think about that as well so anyway the wheel goes round and round you keep doing the same things you're doing you're gonna get the same result you've always been getting Death is a good card to indicate change or an upheaval, some big change, some big um, transformation comes about, and this is upside down, meaning no, there's not going to be any change. The wheel goes round and round and makes no change. Uh, opposition, yet hopefulness. Yes? Right? Yes? So, there is opposition, but there's hopefulness. In other words, there's that small glimmer of hope that we all need to hang on to that maybe something will get better and that's going to continue on as a theme um, for the having children so that is the question about having children you always get the you always get the travel card let's see if we get the travel card so uh, 
want to live apart from the mother-in-law. Uh, do have a new journey and a new opportunity. Whatever happened to that man I said you were going to meet? You said my reading was accurate. I said you were going to meet another man that was going to emotionally satisfy you a bit better. By the way, if the husband watches this, you know, no offense, bro. I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm just reading cards. I'm just reading cards. If anybody's husband watches these, I'm just reading cards. I'm just a fat man reading cards. Well, not so fat anymore. I'm a used to be fat man reading cards. Now I'm an overweight man reading cards. Slightly overweight man reading cards. Okay. So you do have a fool's journey. You have a new journey coming up. A new journey coming up, and it's going to have new opportunities. It's going to be it. It's going to be a journey or a a new opportunity that has potential to be exciting, something that you're excited about um, as well. And it has a, a, an expansion, but also a blockage. You're going to have to make your way across the blockage or the interference, the interference, interference that we have in this card here. Um, upside down it's going to be something that's going to require a bit of work but you can do it so it sounds like you have another journey involved i know you probably just came back from a journey and you're like screw this i just want to make money but you have another journey uh that's possible but you're going to be excited about this particular journey it's going to be something that you're uh, a new opportunity that you do have i don't see any money cards here it's not going to be like this windfall oh money but the question is, will you be able to live apart from your mother? Yes, you do have a journey. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be something that you're excited about. You do have some interference. Somebody doesn't want to go on the journey. So it may be your husband. It may be somebody else. Uh, it may be a financial situation doesn't want you to go on the journey. But yes, you do have a journey. You have some interference with it. You're going to have to get through the interference by finding another way around the interference. You're going to have to find a way around it. Man, that Jupiter, that Jupiter, though, really sort of points me to this is going to be something that you're not only excited about, but it's going to be very possible. But again, somebody doesn't want to go on the journey. It's not going to be something that it may be something you have to go alone or maybe some journey. Um, but I do see that that it's going to be not a good mix. It's not, a, not going to be something that, well, oh, Jesus. Not going to be something that maybe you're too excited about after you, you after the first excitement wears off. You run into interference. You're going to have to work your way around it. Um, it does sort of generate a rift emotionally within you. So uh, I wanted to give you good news. You write a lot, and I wanted to give you some fantastic news. And this is what I get every time, something like this. I keep getting journeys every time. Today... We did this before we had the journey on the boat. So every time, yeah, you still have more journeys. Uh, it may not be, I don't see like the hermit or anything, but yeah, you'll be able to move. You'll be able to move. You'll be able to live apart. You'll be able to move. Everything is gonna be a little bit better, but um, as far as kids are concerned, if you keep doing the same thing over and over, you're gonna get the same results. But hopefully you'll like this journey, get around the interference, uh, make way, through it and um, and just try to work work through it. Seems that you still have some challenges ahead. Hopefully you make it through. You seem like a very nice person. Uh, bless you. The best of luck to you. Uh, I wish you all the best. Okay, that's my video. If you want a reading of your own, please email me at the email address in the description. And as always, please hit like and subscribe.